Kobe, Japan. We've been teaching our students to use Ultimaker for the last two years. Using Ultimaker machines, there's touch panels and you can send data via cloud, so it is easy. Uh, with the S3, I like that we, we can like print with uh, multiple materials at the same time. These can be materials like rubber and plastic to make one single part. The 3D printing training that's included in the program is ISTE certified. So it really helps our teachers to build their capacity both as STEAM educators as well as feeling really proficient with the 3D printing technology. 3D printing it's made me more technically minded. I've looked at things from a completely different aspect and I've been thinking more about how things work and how I could improve on things. It's become really a big part of the school curriculum recently. People are using it in elementary school for actual classes instead of just a Club. We really appreciate the lesson plans that are included in the platform because it helps our teachers to supplement their curriculum with innovative, accurate, and authentic lessons that we can use with this 3D printing. It is remarkable to see children using some technical technology to bring their ideas into fruition. Having children learn these skills at an early age provides the foundation for success in STEM education. Another great thing I found on the internet was Thingiverse. I think Thingiverse has really helped me to create some of my own ideas and just make them better by elevating it with other people's designs. I found our Ultimaker machines can make flexible tubes, so I want to make it one day. I think 3D printing can spark interest in design. It's a goal of mine to one day 3D print an RC plane from scratch. For me, I like to design it on the internet. I can do different shapes. One day, I want to print a big skateboard.